My name is Steve Flaherty. I'm been coaching here at Bishop Fenwick since 2017, and uh, I'm having a blast. I think, first of all, we have to talk to the players and kind of tell them our expectation and our goals for the season. And obviously, at the end of the season, we always like to make the tournament, but it's not really our goal. Our goal is from day one to make sure that the players get better as they go along before the season's over. And if we make the tournament, that's always a plus. I think what it is, it has to come from us because we have to kind of set a standard as coaches and we have to be committed to the players because if they see us really committed, our preparation before practice is crucial to me because if the players see that, then they know they, they, I'd like them to buy into it and commitment and uh, integrity and you, you're going to get out of the game what you put into it basically. So if you come to practice ready to really work hard at it, then at the end of the day, the results will come along with it. Oh, I think it's great. I think for a successful program like Fenwick, I think the biggest thing is to me is when they leave Fenwick community and they go to college and then after college, they call you up and say, hey, can I come back and help out? And I think that says a lot about the school itself and the program. So to me, that's, that's, what's it, that's what it's all about. I think the biggest thing I take away from the program is it, you get that feel family thing. I think it's very important because, it, you know, at the end of the day, results are good. But at the, to me, it's like family. They want to come back. What can I do to help? I mean, right now I have a, a lady that graduated in 2013, I think, and she's helping the program. And that kind of tells you basically what the program is before me. And now it's, it's great. Well, I, I think what I do is I basically kind of watch them, how they interact with each other during the incoming freshmen when they start coming in. And I kind of, kind of, you know, leadership to me is not how good they are at playing the sport. It's how they are able to get along with everybody. And if somebody's struggling during a session, then who's, who's going to step up and help them out? And if they are have somebody having a bad game or something, bad practice, who's coming over and give them words of encouragement? And that's how you kind of pick out your leadership. Sometimes leaderships are very quiet. They don't have to be the best players on the team, but they don't have to be that vocal either. It's just, it's just within them, that's all. Um, the bus rides. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, this generation, they, they have their own music. And I'll tell you right now, there's some memories that some music that I listen to on the bus is not really my, my type of music. But well, you know what? You've got to buy into it because they tell you. But I think the biggest memories I take away from it is uh, it's how close they are. They're close on the soccer field and on the bus rides. But outside of that, they want to go and be involved with the other teams in the program. And I think, I think the biggest thing for me is family. It's just like a big, huge family, whether it's soccer or football or baseball or basketball. I think that's, that's what attracts me to the program. I think, to me, family, f n number one, and, ta and get to know the, the uh, player as a person. What about their family, about their siblings, about their brothers and sisters? What's the name of their pet dog or pet cat, whatever they have? If you, as coaches, if we get to know the person before the sport, I think it says a lot about the program and that person will feel like, wow, he's more interested in me as a person than a soccer player or a baseball player. I think that's very important for a young the, the generation to make sure that you care about them as people instead of just an athlete.